As you recall in the previous training video, we learned what a split task is. It's basically taking a task that you're going to have an interruption or a delay in and splitting it and moving that part of the task that has not been completed yet to a later date. Actually, you can split any task. It doesn't have to be completed. Even split those that haven't even started yet. As you can see, these tasks over my Gantt chart haven't started. And the difference between splitting a task and what we're about to do here, which is called rescheduling a task, is rescheduling a task is taking a task that has already started, even if it's only 1% complete, and rescheduling that part that hasn't been completed yet to a specified later date. So splitting a task, you can split anything, but rescheduling a task using that feature, it only works on those tasks that have uh, already started, but haven't been completed yet. Okay, I mean, you can choose which one you want to use, but let me go ahead and show you this one. So in this example, we're going to be using the create outline task. And as you recall in the previous training video, we split this one. Well, I put it back together so we can go ahead and use the reschedule task feature and reschedule that part that hasn't been completed that Rider1 says he can't make it in on that day. So he has to come in at a later time. And when you hover over the black progress bar, it's 50% complete. So of the two-day duration, he's got one day left to work. And if you hover over the blue task bar, you can see it's September the 8th and September the 9th. He cannot come in on the 9th, but he can come in on the 10th. So to go ahead and reschedule that part that hasn't been completed by using this feature, reschedule task, come up here, click on the project tab. Oh, and be sure that you have that task that you want to reschedule selected. And then from the project tab to the status group, click on update project. You got two options. Update work has complete through whatever date. And so you can say, okay, everything through this date is going to be 100% complete, or you can set the percentage. In any case, that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to be rescheduling uncompleted work, which is only this task right here to start after. Let me type in the date 9 slash 9 slash 10 and click on the drop down arrow. Now keep in mind it says after. So if I want him to start after the 9th, that he's going to come in on the 10th because he cannot come in on the 9th, then select the 9th so he can come in after the 9th. Okay? You can do it for the entire project, but what's the point? Because we only have one task that has a percent of it completed, and it only affects, again, those tasks that are uncompleted but have already started. In other words, even if it's a percent complete. Okay? And then go ahead and you can click OK or if you just want to focus on this task because maybe you have others that have started but haven't completed and you just want to do this one then click OK and there you go it splits it out. We've got a one day of delay here so when you hover over that part of the task that's been split you can see that in the pop-up Friday September the 10th is when he's coming in to go ahead and complete it. It still has a duration of two days because that's how long it's going to take in man hours 16 hours to complete the task doesn't take into effect the delay here and then if I want to go ahead and bring it back together because I made a mistake and if the undo button isn't available as you recall in the previous training video for a split task just hover over the end part of that task that's been split until you can see a four-way arrow then click and drag and slam it back so it touches and it sticks together and now it's just one task here that hasn't been split 